Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. I am pretty sure a lot of you who are working with Excel files and who are working with big data simultaneously would have encountered a situation wherein it would have become really difficult for you to process your big data Excel file and carry out operations such as creating a pivot table or applying some filters on the Excel file really difficult. What do you do in that case? or is there a way out wherein you can create machine learning solutions on really big data well the answer to all these questions is nvidia's amazing solution called as rapids rapids is basically a suite of open source software libraries that gives you the freedom to execute end to end data science and analytics pipelines entirely on gpus so essentially even if you have a very small cpu constraint you can use gpus on your local machine without relying on external gpus as well so if you have a gpu on your laptop you can basically utilize that and create an end to end data science workflow so this power of rapids is what i want to demonstrate to all of you today so without wasting any further time let's kick start the video so the entire demo that i'll show you today in terms of the speed up that you can achieve using a cuda data frame is something that i'll demonstrate using my personal laptop which nvidia is sponsored and i'll show you the amount of speed ups that you can get when you use a cuda data frame over a pandas data frame so the data set that i'll be using is basically the us accident data set which is easily available on kaggle so you just have to go to kaggle.com type in us accidents and you can download the data set for free i'll attach the link to the data set in the description section of the video feel free to check it out so now coming back to the actual implementation i'm using a windows laptop which is powered by an nvidia gpu now under the hood what i've done is i've carried out the entire installation process for running rapids on windows so i'll additionally add one more link which will kind of guide you in terms of how you have to basically install rapids on your windows machine if you follow the process diligently then i'm pretty sure you would be able to install rapids on your machine now after entering the initial commands the next thing that i'll do is i'll activate an environment so i've already created an environment called as rapids 22.02 so that is something that i'll activate after this is done i'll enter the command jupyter space notebook once i type in jupyter notebook and once i open the actual notebook that i've created this is the interface that is visible i'll start off the activity by importing the necessary modules so in this activity i'll require cudf i'll require the math function i'll require numpy pandas and the other libraries as well so i'll go forward and import the necessary modules I'll also assign a random seed number so currently I'm assigning the value 12 so that you are able to reproduce the same output at your end as well so that is something that I've done using this command called as random dot seed and I pass in the number just to check if the GPU is active and if I have everything in place I am running the command nvidia hyphen smi so it tells me the GPU type it tells me the smi version the driver version as well as the CUDA version so the entire activity is on 11.6 let's now go forward and look at the different files that exist in this particular folder so i'll call the command os.list directory to just discover the different files that exist in this particular folder so now when i run the command i have a data old.csv file which is the previous version of the same data set I have a data.csv file which is the newest version that is available for this particular data set on Kaggle. Now the next thing that I'll do is I'll show you the size of the file. So when I run the next command which is the print statement, it tells me that the overall size of the file is 1100 MB that is more than a GB. Now in order to understand the data, the first step is basically to read the data file. which is where i call the function read_csv from the cudf function and i pass in the data.csv file as an input so let me go forward and run the cell 
so as you can clearly see the total time taken for the entire read operation is around 8 seconds what I'll also show you is a small comparison with Google Colab in terms of the speed up that I'm getting by using a local GPU. So if I try to read the same data.csv file on Google Colab, remember Google Colab is not having an operating system per se wherein there is no GUI or there aren't a lot of background processes which is where a lot of the RAM gets allocated to whatever process you're trying to perform using Python. So if you have a 12 GB machine allocated to you, the amount of time that Google Colab will take for reading that 1 GB file using Pandas is around 30 seconds. So it's a, it's a very high end machine that is allocated to you. But when you compare it to a GPU on your local machine, the GPU is giving you almost three times the same amount of acceleration as compared to a CPU, which is a high end CPU. Now, if you look at the data set size, it has close to 3 million rows with 47 columns. And now if I call the df.describe function, it basically gives me a summary of all the numeric columns with respect to the total number of elements that are present, the mean value, the standard deviation, the minimum value, the maximum value and so on and so forth. Now the next thing that I also have to do is I have an end vision in mind wherein I want to create some kind of a classification model which is where I'll be utilizing the output of this particular notebook as an input to the next notebook. Now, the first thing that I'll do in order to clean the data set is to remove missing values, which is where I'll call the is any function and also a sum function to count the total number of missing values in each column. So let me go forward and run the cell. So as you can clearly see, the column number has a lot of missing values. City has a lot of missing values. Zip code, time zone, airport code, weather timestamp and so on and so forth. So there are many columns that have a lot of missing values, which is something that we have to tackle going forward. Based on the initial inspection, I've discovered some columns, either they have a lot of missing values or they do not have a lot of information that I can use for the machine learning model activity. So I go forward and delete columns like ID, end underscore time and so on and so forth. So I kind of remove all the columns. Now in the next step, what I've done is for all the numeric columns, I've taken the mean value of that column and I've replaced missing values with mean value. Similarly for the object columns or the text columns, I've basically filled the missing values with a corresponding value, which is the maximum or the mode value. So that is something that I filled in here. So let me now go forward and run the cell. Now, before we start building models, one of the objectives is to have good features in our data set, which is where our new functions come into picture. If I have lat long values for the starting and ending point, is there a way that we can compute distances between them? And the answer is yes. The function that you see right in front of you is basically used for calculating the distance between a starting lat long value and an end lat long value. So there are two flavors to it, but the objective is still same. We want to carry out the entire distance calculation using a GPU, which is where the first version, which is dot apply rows comes into picture. So now what I do is I call the apply underscore rows function. I pass this function in the input. I pass the in input columns as well. I also specify the output column and that's about it, right? So let's wait for the entire execution to complete. Now that the entire execution is complete, if you look at the time as well, for around 3 million rows, the entire process takes less than a second. Isn't this amazing? Rather than using the apply function, I have something called as apply underscore chunks function, which is something that I again carry out the same activity, but here I pass in chunk number. It again takes less than a second. What you're trying to achieve using this entire activity is you're trying to achieve a speed up through which you can basically use GPUs that you have in your local machine and carry out an exercise. 
So a lot of tasks that you would have done in say Excel or in Pandas can easily be transferred to a rapid kind of ecosystem. And then basically you can make inferences from that data. If you're thinking of getting an RTX laptop, then NVIDIA is also providing an amazing opportunity for students. If you purchase an RTX laptop, then you can avail a deep learning instructor led certification course from Deep Learning Institute, which will give you a head start in your deep learning career. For more information, I'll attach the link in the description section of the video. Do check it out. Well, this is all that I had in today's video. I hope you found today's video informative. Thank you so much for watching the video.